Hey, it's me again. I'm recording uh, this video from a cabin in the campgrounds, so it's something new. Um, there was a full moon that happened um, yesterday. I knew it was going to be this week, but I know it was yesterday, the 26th, so the day after Christmas Day. So it's 12 26, December 26. Anyways, this is just a quick reading I'm going to do about the full moon. Um, it's called a cold moon, but it's really a um, full moon, cold moon, snow moon, whatever. It's the last full moon of this year. So I'm going to do a reading on that and see what they have to say. So you have the magician here. That's number one. So basically, uh, whatever you want will happen as long as it doesn't harm anyone. That's the condition, okay? So let's see what they have to say. Ooh, Ace of Cups, New Love. Um, you're the prize to be won. So there's no competition. When you're the prize, you're strong, Leo. I'm here in August. Late, late July um, to August. So July to August. Whatever applies. Again, new love. So I'm going to stop here. Okay. Oh. The Emperor. Uh, Aries. April. Um, whatever resonates with you, that's what it is. So it could be... Um, the emperor could be a, a leader, it could be um, a god, it could be being controlled, taking control, whatever that is, that's what it is, okay? So Aries, April, the hangman, uh, that would be Pisces, uh, number 12. So the emperor is number four, and then uh, the hangman is number 12, so that's Pisces. Nine of Pentacles reverse, so that's that's gonna be manifested quickly. Queen of Wands, Leo. And um four of pentacles reverse. So you have four and four, forty-four, that's a divine number. I don't know if you can see it. Um that is basically when it's when it's reversed like that, that means um you're no longer holding back. You're sharing. You have the Fool, number zero. That's Aquarius. Um, I'm hearing late January to February. The Hierophant. Oh, wow. So that would be number five, Taurus. I'm hearing um, late April to May. Six of Pentacles, so equality. Queen of Pentacles, so that would be Taurus. So you have Taurus and Taurus here. cups um so you're romantic or you know someone who is um the nine of swords reverse that's peace balance with the king of cups cancer yeah you're the prize to be one and because you're the prize to be one there's no reason for conflict. Like, it's peace. Peace and balance. Clarity. And moving on, walking away. Yep. You're the prize to be won. And because you're the prize to be won, like, why would you... Why would you engage in conflict? I don't understand. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. But right, that's what I'm getting. All right.
Okay. So the main message is about equality. Yeah. Equality, balance, peace, justice, all of that. Okay. So that things will be restored how they're supposed to be. Not how they are. Not how they used to be. But the how they're supposed to be. And they're supposed to be balanced. Okay. So you have Hangman, um, number 12, Pisces, the Emperor, number 4, Aries, Queen of Wands, um, Leo, the Fool, Aquarius, and that's zero, King of Cups, Cancer, Queen of Cups, look at that, you have the King and Queen of, what? You have the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. They're not even looking at each other. You have the King of Cups, who is balanced. And that would be, um, King of Cups would be Cancer. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles, um, Abundance, that's Taurus. So you have Cancer and Taurus. They're not even looking at each other. They're looking at their own, uh, selves. Basically, they're worried about themselves and not other people so because they're going in the same direction they're going to meet each other if they should follow their directions which is they're supposed to meet each other that's what they're guided to do so they have to follow their guidance in order to meet each other and if they don't they're not going to meet each other i hope that makes sense okay that's number game so let's see so, yeah, this is, whoa, this is big. All right, so what I'm getting is that, um, yeah, you're going to have to surrender. Yeah, give it up. Like, seriously, give it up. Surrender. Because you're not going to be able to be the Queen of Wands. Because the Queen of Wands is divine. So, if you go after the Queen of Wands... A Leo, you're going to go after the divine. So it's like, you're not just going after the queen of wands. You're going after the divine. You you go against her, you go against the divine. That's what you're really going up against. Okay, so just give it up. You're not going to win. And if you do surrender, give it up, you will have a new start. That's, that's how it works. That's how it works. That's how you surrender. Surrendering doesn't mean losing. It just means enough of it. Like, stop doing that to yourself because you're really doing that to yourself. Okay. And when you do that, you will take back control. You will be with your match, wherever that is. That's like you. That's who your match is. You'll be abundant. And you'll be more balanced. Okay? That's not a game. And um, I hope this helps you in some way. Um, yeah, this is the last full moon of this year. So the cold moon, snow moon, whatever. That's the last one for 2023. There's going to be more coming up. But it's going to be in um, the new year, 2024. Um, having said that, I hope I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.